Good morning, blooming birds. Here I am safe. What about you? Hope you are doing well. Today we discuss about LEMU. It's a new theory in behavioral consumer theories. What is it? According to Alfred Marshall, if a person has a thing which he can put to several users, he will distribute it between those users in such a way that it has the same marginality in all. We have one thing which we have to put in several uses and we have to put same marginality from every uses. What it is exactly we will discuss later. It is also called Gossens second law. What is Gossens first law? Exactly that is law of diminishing marginal utility. LEMU otherwise known as law of substitution mm -hmm. and law of proportionality. That are other names of LEMU. What assumptions are taken here? Assumptions. Firstly, rational consumer. Consumer should know that what he has to buy and how useful. Full knowledge about commodities, their attributes. Commodities are divisible and substitutable. Utility measured in utils. So here, the consumer allocates his income in such a way that MU of goods purchased would be in proportion. That means the income I have, I will use them in so many goods in such a way that the MU should be in proportion. That's why LEMU called has law of proportionality. Suppose there are three goods. I am doing expenditure. Three goods of my income. Here is an example. Suppose you have total income 60 rupees. Two goods we will take here because LEMU compare for two or more goods. We have here two goods that are chocolate and another one chips. Price of chocolate is 10 rupees and price of chips is 5 rupees. Here I have shown MU of chocolate and MU of chips. As you can see here MU of chocolate is going on declining. Similarly, MU of chips also goes on declining. When we go on increasing consumption of the commodity, here we observe MU of the commodities are declining. At present, our focus is how to find the equilibrium point. That is chocolate and chips. Now we will do what? We will see where they both equal. Fourth unit of chocolates, first unit of chips when it will be equal and five units of chocolates, two units of chips will be equal. Again six units of chocolate and three units of chips will be equal. Similarly seven units of chocolates, four unit of chips then it will be equal. Hence the problem arises here where to operate where the consumer should operate well see. The income is limited that is 60 rupees. See our income is 60 rupees. That is the limitation. We can expenditure within 60 rupees only so. What we will do? First option 4 chocolates plus 1 chips. Another option 5 chocolates and 2 chips. 6 chocolates and 3 chips. Lastly 7 chocolates and 4 chips. Find out the price and which will match within our income. We will go for that. First option we will go for this and we offered more consumption. Second one also affordable. Next we will check other. Third one 75 rupees we can't afford. Fourth one is 90 rupees we can't afford this also. Hence consumer should operate 5 chocolate and 2 chips. Are you getting my point? How we will calculate our law of equilibrium? Let we will see some limitations. Consumer need careful scrutiny regarding price of commodities and their substitutes. Every time we can't access that every commodity, this is for this much price, we have to scrutinizing. But we can't scrutinizing every time. Another is habit based expenditure. My taste is only chocolate. I didn't like chips. So I can't operate this law. Yes or no? These are the two limitations based on law of equi-marginal utility. Now you get clearly 
what is the what is lumu and how satisfy in human behavior